hello everyone now we are seeing the wall timing diagram for four stroke diesel engine the aim of this experiment is to draw the wall timing diagram the operators required to perform this experiment is you need to have uh, a single cylinder cut section of a four stroke diesel engine so in this diagram you can see the different events so as there are two types of valves here that is inlet valve and closed uh, exhaust valve so there are four events the inlet valve opening and inlet valve closing and similarly exhaust valve opening and exhaust valve closing so this opening and closing of valves will be taken care by the rotation of crankshaft so in the rotation of crankshaft means you can notice where the uh, particular angle lies between the opening and closing of valves so here you can see the terminology is what we are used here uh, tdc is top dead center bdc is bottom dead center where actually the piston travel from top dead center to bottom dead center uh, fis is fuel injection starts and fic is where the fuel injection closes uh, ivo ivc evo and evc so you know how uh, important to know uh, the when the valve is opening or closing with respect to the crank angle so that is nothing but the timing of opening and closing of the valves so how uh, exactly you can note down the readings of uh, crank angle uh, that once you check with the experiment you can notice by yourself and uh, this is uh, the port timing diagram the port timing diagram is uh, also almost similar to the wall timing diagram but here we'll be using ports or we'll be calling it as port instead of valves and uh, one more uh, difference you can make it out here is uh, in valves uh, there are two types of valves that is inlet valve and uh, outlet valve or exhaust valve here in ports uh, there are three different types of ports one is the inlet port and uh, transfer port and the next one is the exhaust port the transfer port is uh, used to allow the fresh charge and also to scavenge the exhaust gases and these uh, ports are used in only two stroke engines and you know that uh, it will take one complete revolution of crankshaft to complete the two strokes once you measure the angle of crankshaft with respect to opening and closing of ports after that you can draw the port timing diagram hello everyone uh, this is a single cylinder diesel engine the cut the cut section of single cylinder diesel engine okay so here uh, the purpose of this experiment is to draw the wall timing diagram okay so you can see here the various components first so this is going to be the piston this is going to be the inlet valve and it is going to be the exhaust valve where the movement of the piston travels from tdc or that is called as top dead center to bottom dead center if you rotate the flywheel you can make the movement of the piston from top dead center to bottom dead center the flywheel and piston are connected with the help of the connecting rod and crankshaft okay so from this you need to know what is the various angles of the crankshaft where you can notice the opening and closing of valves okay so once the valves opens or closes at that time immediately you should make a note of what is the 
angle which is marked on the flywheel or the crankshaft. Okay. Now you can see the clearance volume. So once we start to rotate the flywheel, now the inlet valve opens slowly as the piston moves from TDC to BDC. You can see notice the valve opened and closed and now it is the second stroke, the compression stroke where piston is moving up and this is the third stroke where the piston is coming down. And then finally it is going to be the exhaust stroke where you can notice the exhaust is going out. So this is what the basic principle of the working of the four stroke IC engine. Okay. So similarly you can make a note with respect to the port timing. So this is a two stroke engine where you can see there will be using ports. Okay. This is the one port and uh, this is going to be the transfer port and this is going to be the exhaust port. Okay. The inlet transfer and exhaust ports where again here you need to make a note with respect to the opening and closing of ports again with respect to the markings on the flywheel. Okay. So finally at what time the inlet port opens or what time the exhaust port opens at that time you should make a note what is the angle in that and finally you should using a protractor and a white board, white drawing sheet or white board where you can mark the angles by using the protractor you should make a timing diagram. So here it is going to be the port timing diagram which is called as the port timing diagram in with respect to two stroke engine and here it is a four stroke engine where the valve timing diagram will be placed.